Uh, one nice thing I noticed, the tip is actually working, uh, the tip, the snip uh, uh, tool is working really nicely, so let's open open a browser again and let's do something with the, with the snipping tool. So we can take something from the screen and then we can edit it and it works fine. Looks nice, works fine. Okay. No, let's not save it. Okay. So, how do I like it? Well, for surfing, this goes fine. It's uh, well, I'm I'm so far liking it. I only used it for like ten hours, and I'm liking it. Uh, there are some small issues. Uh, the biggest issue I see is actually on the on-screen keyboard because no matter how small or big you make it you cannot go more down than this so there's a lot of space here of course it doesn't matter when I'm using it, using it floating but then when I dock it yes there's always this gap and I, I cannot see any purpose for that really uh, it's uh, it's way too big, big. So maybe there is some adjustments uh, yeah, I can do, but out of the box, it's it's not not nice. I will I will try to seek the solution for that. But right now the docking really it takes half of the screen, so that's way too much. And of course that I cannot move it down. I I I, I think maybe there is a well let's actually look at the options on that. So. At the opening we have a lot of options. Uh, we can use the input tab. Oh, yep, we have to always take the dialogs up to make them work. So let's show that. So here we can also do it this way. So we can put it, put it there and then back. So we, we can use it that way too. Well, I don't want to use it, so let's take it away. So I think could it be? Could there be any setting for the new writing line? Let's let's try less space. Did it work? No, no. There's a lot of space. It's taking too much space. Well, hopefully Microsoft will fix that for our UMPC users. And of course this issue on the dialogs. We this dialog is is usable, you can take it uh, up, but some some dialogs are really not even even you just cannot use them. Like uh, well let's go to tools internet options yeah even if I take it up I cannot see OK cancel and apply so really do something about it please okay so then let's go to this device specific things I have asked people to uh, make questions to me to uh, to answer answer them on this uh, video so let's see what's going on oh, Frank wants details oh no 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 let's go details list of things not working so launcher button doesn't work uh, keyboard doesn't uh, the resolution change doesn't work settings doesn't work page up page down doesn't work uh, well, they work, but they don't do what they should supposed to. So, like here, page down gives me minus, and page up gives me plus. Uh, the reason why these are not working is that uh, it is uh, Antic specific software, and it's not meant for running on Vista. So, they will work when they do a new software, but right now, out of the box, they are not working. Same goes with the uh, uh, brightness. Uh, settings uh, software the, all the software is meant for tablet pc uh, edition of uh, 
2005, not for Vista. That's why they are not working. Uh, let's see what drivers we are using. Uh, I'm using standard drivers. I'm using uh, uh, the only software I installed was the Synaptics uh, mouse driver. So the mouse works just like it should work. So, so that's only software I installed. The drivers, uh, the Wi-Fi driver, uh, I used uh, the driver uh, set from the from the tablet operating system. Uh, the touchscreen driver actually came from uh, Windows update so actually I was wasn't first able to use the touchscreen but then out of the blue there was a new update uh, uh, coming and uh, that was it uh, that did the job now it's working just like it should be yeah so actually the whole operating system uh, changed when I uh, when the update came uh, for the touchscreen so it really uh, it started to do stuff and then suddenly I had the uh, floating tip, uh, this one here and uh, and uh, other 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 stuff. So so Vista uh, looks uh, there is a lot of things uh, that it immediately uh, adds on when when you have a touchscreen installed. So it will automatically recognize the touchscreen and then bring you the touchscreen uh, specific stuff. So what else Frank had in his mind? Uh, what do, 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 do. Few things are working. So I didn't hack anything. Everything works just I, like I told you. Yes, I did try to install the hardware key program and no, it didn't work. Uh, Uh, let's see what else is it uh, what version of Wi-Fi I installed um, I will uh, email the uh, screenshots for the uh, specific drivers but they are actually the same as as, as I used to use uh, uh, I should contact uh, Amtech yeah so so the only thing we're missing is is software related stuff driver drivers are updated and actually the drivers are not from Amtech they are from specific hardware OEMs like the Winbound is making the Wi-Fi eGalax is making the touchscreen so these uh, all have already done oh did I clean install yes I did uh, clean install nothing else there nope so I will uh, tomorrow, maybe today, but I think tomorrow I will install the uh, one gigs of RAM to make uh, things happen. I will report uh, what's up when, when, if there is a major changing changes on the on the on the system. I will test some uh, different uh, media players or video players to see the video performance because uh, really the media player. Uh, needs more uh, graphic power to be to be good. Uh, so everything else than these few keys and a few uh, software related stuff is working. We have Bluetooth here. Bluetooth is working just like it used to work. Uh, also, Wi-Fi is working fine. No no issues there. Uh, what else is there? Uh, device specific the mouse I, I showed you the mouse it's working just like two the mouse button buttons are working I can scroll with the with the d-pad so that's okay for me you can see me scrolling there yeah so thank you for your time uh, I will give you more details later but right now the main thing is that we know it's working, not flawlessly, but still working, and there is uh, some nice stuff, and of course there is something uh, uh, still to be done, like uh, more space for the keyboard and uh, the dialogues, Microsoft, the dialogues, the Windows, you know. <laughs> Thank you.